Hey guys, uh, welcome to my review on Totally Reliable Delivery Service. That is one hell of a name for a game. And this is a game that is very similar to Gang Beasts in terms of control, but also with a massive crazy twist. You control a very wobbly character who has the ability to grab and pick things up, as well as drive a bunch of vehicles, even flying ones, to either deliver certain packages that sometimes explode, to destinations around the map, or to just mess with your friends and create absolute mayhem by, like, you know, stopping them from driving and delivering things perfectly. The gameplay loop revolves around you completing a wide range of delivery missions with all sorts of wonky obstacles set out to just make that a huge challenge in most cases. By doing these delivery missions you earn money and you can also earn medals, gold, silver or bronze for completing them quickly or safely. Some packages are very fragile. So try not to roll down a hill or make things explode. It's, it's easier said than done. As you gain more money you can unlock new areas of the the map for new missions as well as new vehicle unlocks to be found around the area that you're in. And some of these vehicles might even be better than the ones that you're given to deliver some stuff. The controls in the game are, as you would expect, are very weird and ragdoll-like and you struggle to pick things up and your character's like, whoa. It feels like I'm playing with a drunk character all the time. And you gotta make sure physics tries to keep up with you because sometimes physics is gonna be a nightmare for you to deal with in this game. I especially struggled with learning to fly because in the game, the mouse kind of acts as a form of joystick. So if you move too much to the left with your mouse, the helicopter just like literally rotate sideways and you're like oh shit we're crashing and then boom failed delivery like helicopter dead and you gotta make sure <laughs> you gotta balance this thing in the back of your helicopter as well so it's it's quite a challenge the graphics are simplistic in nature, but extremely vivid in color, as you can see. There also seems to be a day and night cycle as you play. The game even has split screen for PlayStation and Xbox consoles up to four players, which tells me that this game will be a hell of a lot of fun with friends together in a room. I personally played with one guy, some random guy in multiplayer, and it was so much... We weren't even speaking to each other, and we were like, yeah, 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 that was cool, that exploded, oh shit, we fucked up. It was, it was such a cool experience to do that, and we weren't even chatting. I just imagine playing this with a friend, it would be mayhem, dude. Talking about the sound in the game, it's kind of pretty average or basic for a game like this. You know, explosions, doof sounds when you're falling out of the sky unconscious. But overall, it didn't really bother me, and it just kind of, you know, just fits in. It gets the job done, and it, you know, it works. The progression of the game is extremely confusing, though, especially at the beginning, and often led to me doing deliveries on the areas of the map that I wasn't supposed to be in yet, especially when I had no money, and I'm in a place where it's like, oh, well, it costs like a hundred money to, like, unlock missions here, and I'm like, well, I don't have money, and I don't know how to get back to the area where I was. And then it took me a while to realize you can just open up the map by pressing escape, and then press R to respawn, or if you're on a delivery that you can't complete, press C on the map to cancel the delivery. So hopefully with me telling you those, you won't struggle as much as I did right at the beginning because there does seem to lack some basic tutorials in instances like that where you might get a bit confused in your first hour of play. Now for the most important part of any review, is the game fun to play. From my experience, I didn't really know what to expect. I was like, okay, this seems kind of like Gang Beasts, and I struggled to catch on earlier, as I mentioned before, but the f after the first 10 minutes, my first impressions went from like, I don't know about this to, wow, this is dangerous, as I dangled from a plane that some like, guy was flying in multiplayer, and I'm like, oh shit, <laughs> like, please don't crash, dude. And it was a funny shit, which is like, falling to the ocean, and boom, it's like, mission failed, but it was like, that was so cool, let's do it again. And we do it in a helicopter, and it was like, I somehow like, dude, the, the things that happen are just so silly and they'll make you laugh when they go wrong and like an explosive package like goes boom and then all of a sudden you're flying across the map and your other friend is like, Wheel! he's on the other side of the map and you're like, shit, it's going to take us like two minutes to get back to each other. So to answer your question, yes, Totally Reliable Delivery Service is a hilariously fun game and seems to be very underlooked in terms of how many fun activities are hidden around each corner. So fun, in fact, that they have given me three copies of the game to give away to you guys. Now, these are only for PC on Steam, so if you're interested in trying your luck for a copy of this game, all you gotta do is leave a comment down below saying, That's a wizard! And if you're lucky, I'll reply to your comment, which I reply to all the comments anyway, but I'll get your contact details so that I can send you the game key so that you can play this game as well, for free. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Let me know what you think of the game in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.